Hi everyone, this is Sean from Hancock Guitars, here with the very first Australian Luthier Supplies weekly wrap up. I'm going to be talking through a couple of uh, interesting questions that have come up during the week that we've answered at Australian Luthier Supplies and run through them in more of a practical sense, uh, explaining how to do the thing that the person's asked using some of the supplies that we sell. Please uh, excuse the little bit of music in the background. They're doing some rehearsals next door for a show. So the first question that we got was about drilling new holes for a pick guard in a guitar that's had a pick guard already fitted and what to do if those holes slightly overlap. So if you need to drill new holes but the position of the screws is completely different to the old position, that's easy enough, you just drill new holes. If the screws slightly overlap, well you're not going to be able to drill those holes very easily because you've got a, a hole already there. So I've started on, uh, on this piece of scrap wood here what I've done is I've filled a hole, a screw hole, with some of our screw hole plug stock. This is a three millimeter. And I've also got the same sort of hole here. So I'm gonna show you, first of all, how you would fill that hole using the plug stock. So the, the plug's a little bit too big to fit in. So what you do in this case is you can just taper it down using some sandpaper on a block. I just sort of rotate it around. It's a bit like sharpening a pencil and turn it into just a bit of a cone shape at the end until it sort of fits in that hole. So that's nearly there. You want it to be a tight fit. So that's kind of fitting in. I think that should be okay. I'll just give it one more for good measure. All right, and then just use a bit of the old type bond glue on that. And you want to get that right over the whole surface that's going to be glued in there because you want this plug to be stuck to the insides of that hole as well as possible. And it's also good to uh, put a bit in the hole, so I'll just put a bit on there. And just do your best to get that in that hole. Put the plug in, and then a bit of a tap. And that's in well and then and then you can cut this off any way that suits you if it's a finished guitar you're probably uh, going to want to be careful using a razor blade like this you may have to kind of chip away at it a bit more being careful not to damage the finish so that's cut it off pretty cleanly there give it a bit of a scrape get rid of that for now Okay, so it's going to take a while for that type on glue to dry, probably give it a, an hour or two. That's why I did the one here, I prepared that ahead of time, so that glue should be relatively dry now. Okay, so I've drawn a little cross where I want to drill the hole, and that's on the very edge of where the existing hole was. So theoretically or hypothetically that should drill through. The problem is you're drilling into two different density timbers here. You've got the, the screw plug, which has got the grain going one way, and then you've got the timber, which has got the grain going the other way. So one of them's probably gonna be softer than the other, and the drill's gonna wanna wander into the softer one. Uh, I've got a brad point drill, which has got that little needle point. This is the one we sell for putting in side dots. That's gonna help keep the drill straight as it goes in. Uh, the other thing I'm gonna do is actually not hold the drill straight as I go through, I'm going to tilt the drill to sort of direct or steer that drill bit in the right direction. So I'm going to keep an eye on where it wants to go and kind of tilt it so that it goes where I want it to go. So that we'll see how it goes. It's going to want to wander into the softer wood and we'll just tilt it as we go. So that's a pretty good start. So I'm actually tilting it a little bit towards the, the main part of the wood so it's, cause it's, it's wanting to, it's kind of wanting to go to the outside of the plug more so. so you can see I've got it on a fair angle there but it's, it's maintaining that sort of straight path in. And there you go, it's, it's stuck to that cross pretty well and if you were to put a screw in there it should follow into that new hole. So there you have it, that's how you can put a new screw hole in when you've got a screw hole that's sort of overlapping. 
Um, I should show you this little level that I fitted to the drill this morning. I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, it's just stuck on with some hot melt glue and that's going to keep the, the drill nice and straight when I need to drill it in. It's almost like a replacement for a drill press. I saw that on another YouTube video, so I can't take credit for that one. All right, so that's question one. Question two was about fitting knobs to a wiring kit. I had a customer who I was in contact with and he was asking about fitting uh, the Goto Relic dome knobs to an all parts four way tally wiring kit. He wanted to use relic knobs because they have this nice relic finish, but he was inquiring whether they were going to fit on that kit. And the answer to that was actually no, because the kit comes with quarter inch solid shaft pots and the Goto knobs have a six mil hole, so they just won't go over that. So there were a couple of options in this case. He could have gone with quarter inch knobs, which, sorry, they have a quarter inch hole in them and they'll slip over over those solid shaft pots but then you would have to do the relicking yourself and it's nicer to just buy knobs that have had that that nice relicking you can see that's the relic version versus the shiny chrome version but if you did desperately want to use the quarter inch solid shaft pots you could just relic these and there's ways to do that that there's videos on YouTube that show you how to do that. We might do a video one day about that as well. The other easier option would be to switch to a six mil split shaft pot, such as this CTS here. And that's got a slightly smaller diameter shaft, even though you probably can't see the difference on the camera. But even though the brake knob won't fit over the solid one, it fits straight over that one. So I suggested to that customer that we could swap out the pots in the wiring kit to the split shaft and then he could get away with using the Goto knobs. So just be aware when you're buying knobs and pots, it's important that the shafts on the uh, pots match up with the knobs that you're buying. So that's it. Uh, I hope that's been interesting with, for you. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments. Anything you think might be interesting for us to cover during these videos. Otherwise, I'll continue to post a video on a regular basis just talking about some of the um, frequently or infrequently asked questions that we get at Australian Live Here Supplies. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. We really, really appreciate it.